Hello, everybody. Welcome back. This is Tinker77, and we are again back on the AdventureCraft world, and I'm down at the slime farm, which we built in the last episode. And if you look here, we've gotten a lot of slime. Now, this is fantastic, because I like using slime for all my redstone builds. But you know what? The other people on the server, they may like to uh, purchase some of this slime. So we need to uh, get this over to where we're going to have our commerce area, which is a mushroom biome. Now, I need to get there first. I've been there once before when we first started the series. I didn't really show that on camera, but I know where it is. But there isn't really an easy way to get there. So I think what I'm going to do is spend a little bit of time here and try to gather some obsidian. I think I'm going to try to make another portal for myself and then make another one for the community island and get kind of another tunnel set up for me so I can get there faster, so I can check on the sales that I make and make more shops and see what we can do and see what other people are selling. So that's the first thing we're going to do today is I just need to go and check how much obsidian I have and uh, go and get some more and get ready to go and make some uh, nether tunnels. This should be interesting. Turns out I don't have any obsidian, so we're going to start to mine it. Now, one thing you can do is you can break a block here and put down some water. Now, the water will flow and it actually makes the any lava it turns it finds into obsidian or cobblestone, depending on the situation. But it does it very quickly before the item can get destroyed. So if I go ahead and try to hit this block here, if there is lava... Uh, it will be turned into obsidian before I lose this, okay? And that's one thing that you can do to uh, save your obsidian so you get it all. Now, I'm going to try to get as much as I can here. I think I'm going to go... Uh, I'm going to do enough for four portals, and each portal I'm going to approximately take 12 obsidian. So, uh, was that, 24, 48 obsidian? That's what I need to get. Uh, I want to get that amount before I start to go into the nether. This one should be the last one to get 48. And there we are, we have 48 now, that's excellent. So now I go back up and I can start to work with making portals. I've made my portal next to my mine entrance and I lit it and we're gonna go in and see what the coordinates are there and what it looks like. And it looks kind of scary, but I can see over there where we had found in the last episode that place that Uno had been. But it looks like I'm on a little floating island and that's not a great place to be. But that's okay, we're going to be able to go all the way up and redo this portal up at the top at around layer 117. I just need more blocks. I figured I could mine some netherrack, but I'm not gonna be able to. So I gotta get some blocks and uh, we'll start to work on this process and make a portal up high. I've pillared up and I made a portal up at the Y level 117. Let's check and see if this links up correctly. It linked up back to the base and let's make sure it goes back to that location. And it does, excellent. Now I need to figure out where the community center area is. So I'm gonna go back into the overworld and go put a portal there and make a portal and try to link that one up. And here I am on the Mushroom Island. And I'm not afraid that it's nighttime because they, another mobs, uh, they spawn here. Not a bit. But there's the portal. It's really junky right now, but it will work. And we're going to light this up. And there we go. And look at that. It provides light and a lot of noise. Yay. Let's uh, go do the same thing of linking this portal up at layer 117. Well, this is interesting. The portal is um, at a nether fortress. Um, that's going to be a little bit of a problem. I'm going to, uh, enclose this so that we don't get hit by blazes. You can see they're already trying to shoot me. So I'm going to put a little bit of a wall here. And we're going to make sure this is at least protected for somebody coming out of it. I did not expect this. This is, uh, this is cool, but I did not expect this, okay? Um, so we're going to do this. Now, again, I'm going to be, uh, can't get up there, can I? <laughs> I'm gonna be going along here and going all the way up. So I just gonna get the coordinates, go all the way up, pillar up all the way there and do this. But uh, at least we know where our fortress is. That's pretty cool. I've cleared out the portal room here for the commercial area. You can see it's kind of basic right now, but I did put stubs for the hallways going into this area so that we can uh, branch off as we go. And so now it's time for me to make my branch that goes to my base. It's that way a little bit and that's east and then I have to cut south. So I'm gonna start to do that um, right now. to my base so now we have two portals one that way and one that way as you can see i filled up with a lot of resources here and i got to go clean this up i also want to expand this portal 
So I think I'll go do that right now. I've got nearly enough to make up, looks like three stacks of slime uh, balls for the, into slime uh, blocks. So I'm gonna grab all of this. I'm gonna try to make them now into that. And uh, then we're gonna go and make a shop. I think this will be really cool. Over at the community island, we have the portal here. I set up this kind of like an area where people can know that there's kind of be roads going off in different directions. And that's cool. I did this and I realized that this is a pit. <laughs> so I put up a fence. It's just very dangerous here. You can see it kind of goes down. And uh, that'll be corrected as people start building things. I'm not really worried about it. But what I want to do for this uh, shop is I want to make a slime shop. I want to make it look like a slime which is a square. So I'm gonna work with a five by five square so that the interior is three blocks. So there's a, the floor of that. I'm gonna keep the same floor that is used for the, the roads here for now. We'll see how that looks and I have like a chest in here in the center. So let me see if I can build this up. One thing I didn't consider was lighting and you can see it is getting darker out. We only have light from the nether portal. Now I know that no mobs will spawn and, and uh, attack me, but it does look kind of dark and I'm gonna have to figure a way to light this up. One thing I thought about though, was I wanna try these glow item frames. I think that I can maybe give this slime block like some eyeballs and it looks kind of like, <laughs> it looks kind of funny, but I think it looks sort of like a slime and that's what I was going for with that. So what I'd like to do here, I have a uh, some acacia wood here. I'm gonna put like this, maybe I should make it slime like a little slime that was on top of this just to make it more the same. Okay, and I'm gonna put a chest on top and I'm gonna put a bunch of slime balls in there. Um, let's see if I can do that right now. Let's make all of the slime balls, there we go. And I'm gonna sell these for, I am not sure quite yet, I think two diamond a stack. So let's put a sign on here. Uh, slime balls, two diamonds per stack. Or is it, or is it two diamonds uh, slash stack? Yeah, I don't know. Two diamonds a stack. And there we go. And I got some more slime here that I can get to. See how much of that is actually stackable. And stack, 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 stack. And there we go. Now here is an opportunity. There are a bunch of endermen in here. So I think I'm gonna try to kill them. And one way you can do that is if it's not too high, they can't get to you, right? So I'm gonna put up a little bit of a barrier here. And then I'm gonna look at these guys. Let's see if we can get some uh, ender pearls. Here they come, they're kind of loud. They're always very loud. I'll turn the sound down a little bit and uh, let's see if we can get them. Uh, pig man, don't get in the way, please. Hey, there's one pearl. We got a pearl out of that. Excellent, okay. I'm back. I'm gonna put a chain here, I think. Uh, let's put it right there and can we put this on it and will this still open? It will and that's good. Okay, now we have two uh, slime balls, two diamonds per stack. I'm gonna use something here. I'm gonna see if this works. I'm gonna put with this green cactus green. It kind of makes it like a you know, slime color. But I'm gonna hit it with the glow ink sack. And that looks awesome. That looks fantastic. Oh my gosh, that looks excellent. I'm gonna take a screenshot of that. That's right there is awesome. <laughs> that looks great. I like the glowiness that you get from that. Okay. Um, so I think now what I want to do is I wanna to travel to everyone's base and give them what I have here. New shop, free sample, and that's all I really need to do. And they should know to come to the community area uh, to get this. So I'm gonna go and travel around to where I think people are located and uh, give them their free samples. This is Uno's base. I'm gonna put a plank down there. You can see it's definitely a different color than hers. And I'm also gonna use an item frame and this right here, which is the free sample. I'm gonna put an item frame on top and do that. New shop, free sample. There we go. Uno is done. Over here at Ace on Hacked's base, I think this is where he's keeping the axolotls and he's breeding them up. And over there is his goat farm. And right here, I, <laughs> this is his little farm. It doesn't have very much space for himself, but I'm sure he'll see this if I put this right here. I'm gonna put it, uh, let's put it right here. And let's put a item frame on it. And of course, new shop, free sample. There you go, Ace on Hacked. Hello, is anybody home? I'm not sure. This is Mrs. Samantha's base. She's working on this right now. She put some doors inside of like a ruined nether portal, which is really cool. So hopefully she'll see this and come up here and and, and go into the uh, new shop, which is has a uh, free sample. There you go, Mrs. Samantha. After following this long path that you see is lit up, this led me to this house right here in between some trees. And I believe this is Sally Green Gamer's house. I'm pretty sure, what was that? You've got a zombie butcher's head, very nice. 
But I'm going to go out here and I'm going to leave Sally Green Gamer a little gift. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh no. Maybe I've got a gift from Sally. Maybe I will sleep in the bed. Let's do that first. Haha. <laughs> oh no. The door's open. No, 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 no. Oh no. Close the door. Okay. Now can we sleep? No. Oh, this is crazy. Um, um,. I, I, don't, I, I don't want to die, nor do I, I want to, like, let me get some food. <laughs> uh, what to do? Kill all the guys, and then, and then, um, yeah, then sleep. Okay, can we sleep now? Close the door. Close the door. Oh, wow. Good thing Sally has the bed here. So now I can do what I wanted to do, which is place that down and also place the sign. See? We have a plan here. Put the thing down. There it is. And, oh, new shop. Free sample. There we go. Okay, let's move on to the next player. I'm outside Finia Pooh's base here. I also have over here Squishy, who I found in the last video, and I brought him over here for him. I heard a chicken lay an egg, okay? So uh, we're going to also do the same thing like we did before. It's just a block and an item frame and new shop free sample. And the last person I know of is Pause Player 10. I know where their base is, so we're going to put this, I think, right here. I'm going to put the... Item frame and new shop free sample. Now, as far as all the other players, I don't know where their bases are yet, so I can't really do this, but hopefully word will spread, and I'll let them know on Discord. Okay, let's get back to the base. All right, guys, it's that time again where we do a one-hour mining session, so tell me in the comments what do you think I will get for the count of diamonds, okay? Here we go. I'll see you in just a second. I'm back, and what we were able to get is, you can see we've got about 25 diamonds, and we're pretty much okay on the rest of the stuff. Not as much copper as I would like to have seen. But uh, we did get a lot of diamonds. And it, that was mostly because of this fortune pick. I only saw two more of the uh, diamond veins. So it worked out pretty nicely with that. I'm going to put this back up into the base. And then we're going to start the next little bit of a project uh, for this episode. All right, guys. This next bit is going to get difficult. The goal here is to trap a zombie inside of this little chamber. Basically, I hope to run through here like this. And when I run through, I will flip the lever. I can do it on either side, and it puts uh, pistons up, which will trap them inside of this covered area. The goal here, I want to get this guy. I want to have him ha be able to pick up the diamond axe. Not all zombies will pick up items, so i got to find one that picks this axe up first. And then once he gets in there, I'm hoping I can then get this head on him. Now, I did shoot myself so that I could get this head. It's, it's my head, so I can be like, you know, like giant head here. Bigger head of me, smaller head of me. And so, uh, yeah, it's going to be nighttime soon, and hopefully, um, I'm going to record the whole thing. I'll probably edit it down, but hopefully we can get somebody in there. That's the next trick for this uh, video. Here's a guy. Let's see. Will he pick up the axe? It doesn't look like it. He's not one that we want, then. Okay, well, then you're going to be dead. Do you want this axe? It doesn't look like it. This is very bad. Because I got this. Oh, no, not a baby zombie. You, buddy, I don't like you. Okay, I got to pick up my axe over here that I threw down. Okay. There we go. I also got to get rid of this skeleton, too. So, I mean, creeper, not skeleton. Oh, and that skeleton, too. It's very hard working at night. Okay. Now, do any of you guys want my axe? Yes, that one took the axe. We need to save that guy right there. We gotta thin this out a little bit though. Um, I'm not sure how I'm gonna do this yet, but. Do not hit the guy with the axe, okay? Ugh. Or the guy with the sword would be nice, but... Uh... Oh, this is dangerous. Okay, the guy with the axe is out front. Or was. I need to eat. No! Oh! Not near my... Okay, you guys come on through. Come on through, buddy. 
Yes. He is trapped with the axe. Excellent. Now I just need to sleep. Okay, he is nice and safe. Now there are three squares in there that he can walk on. I want to make him down to one. So I need to put a, a piston here and push this block in. It should push him in as well. If I push against, not that way. If I can place against this block here, it should. Let me see if I can do it right there. Okay, no. Dang it. <laughs> It's not doing what I want it to do. I want to basically let me go, go this way. There we go. And so now, if I push them, he should uh, be pushed over and into the center there. That's what I wanted to see. Okay, so that means that this is good. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Now that he's trapped, I want to put the head on him, and I think I'm gonna use a dispenser right there. And if I click on this and I put the head in here. And then if I go to the back here and push it onto him by using a button. There we go. The head is gone. And if we look, he should be wearing the Tinker face. Yes! Look, at there we are. That is Tinker. That is me, but it's a zombie version. Now, this is all for the first step of the process here of making these villagers into zombified villagers. And this was a rather hard process, but now that I have him here... I think we're good for what we need to do. Now it's time for the tricky part, and that is getting this guy and this whole machine configured without letting him go. I did place a rail here, so when the cart comes up, it should go over here. The idea is that it will come over here, and it will drop the villager in the minecart right here. Okay, and we have it covered up because this, when he gets hit by this, or rather killed by the zombie, it'll turn into a zombified villager. And that way they won't burn because they'll be right here, okay? And then the system should detect that he is a zombified villager and push him out this way. So I'm going to put a block here to basically make sure he doesn't get away. And we're going to put some rails here. Okay, I'm going to do, uh, let's see, those three rails. There we go. Okay. Now, the next trick is we got to get him so that he will not get out. Okay, so we're going to put up here. This is a detector system. We're going to put a piece of string. And then we're also going to put in here an observer, which should see that string. Make sure I have it. And we're going to have it looking at the string. So let's uh, let me do that. And I think I might need to get up a little bit for this. But this takes a little bit of time. Okay, so there's a string, an observer. Okay. And that observer goes into a sticky piston, which I have ready to go. Now that I have slime. Okay, so it goes right there, and then we'll put a redstone block here. So the step that I missed was that there should be a redstone line going directly into that block, which would power the rail. Okay, so you can see it is powered. Let's do one more test. Hopefully this guy will see it and uh, see the villager and make him a zombie pretty quick. There he goes, drops in, and nothing. Okay, that's okay. The thing is just depowered. That's what we wanted. And so as soon as he turns into a zombified villager... Um, it should detect it and dispatch. There it goes. And he was dispatched. That's what we want to see. I'm not sure. I don't care that he burns up right now. So that part of the system is working. So once they are a zombified villager, the next step we need to do is weakening them. And right now, the only thing we can do with that is use a... Man, these guys are loud. <laughs> there, that's better. The only thing we can do is we can right now use weakness potions. But I would like to get weakness arrows... So I'm going to have to work on making a station here to weaken uh, these guys when they go through. I had to come to a village to get the brew stand that is there. Weakness potions take fermented spider eyes. We have seven spider eyes. We actually have seven brown mushrooms. Sugar is very easy to get. So now we have seven fermented spider eyes. Now what you do is you go into your brew stand and you put in this stuff here. And then you got to get this. And of course we need to get some blaze, which I don't have yet. That's a critical piece. I forgot about that. Okay. Um, I'm going to be going into the nether. We know where the, the uh, nether portal, or sorry, the nether fortress is. So let me uh, dump some stuff off here. And let's go see if we can get some blaze rods. It's going to go active. There it goes. <laughs> Nothing there. Come on. Come on. Come on. There's our first blaze rod. Let's get a couple more of these and then head back uh, to where we're making the weakness potions. Now that we have the blaze rods, we can turn them into blaze powder, just like that. And then we go into the brew stand and you do this and you wait for a little bit and then you have 
the weakness potions. To make the potions that are now weakness into splash weakness, you add gunpowder. And there we have three splash potions of weakness. Okay, so I have those. Now I need to get some of the other things as well. And we're going to get more of these. And then we're going to head back over to the villager center. And we're going to start to try to get some of these villagers uh, bred up. This should be kind of fun. All right, I think I've got everything worked out. After they get turned into a zombie villager, they will go across this line here and hit this detector rail, which will cause this to shoot out a splash potion of weakness as they're passing along this rail, okay? So then they will be weakened, and they'll go along here over to this point. Now, this section right here is where I then use the golden apple on them to cure them. And once they are cured, they'll do the whole bouncy thing. Uh, the observer sees that and dispatches them, and they won't go back this way. They'll actually go off in this direction, okay? So this is how it's supposed to work. So we're going to try this out right now. Um, it just depends on how fast this guy does his thing, okay? So let me do a villager here. Okay, let's go ahead and watch. Okay, there he is. And there he got turned into him. He should be weakened right now. And now we can do the golden apple, which is really loud, and we're going to go sleep through the night on this bed too. Ah, there are monsters nearby. No. Uh, I used the bed there. That's too bad. I'm going to have to go into my uh, nether portal and go home. Now, it is interesting that I have these iron bars here. I have eight on this side and eight on the other. And I also have a bed nearby. And from what I've read, this makes the villager cure faster, which is what we want. You can see they're shaking right now. Hopefully soon they will be cured. And when they do, it should dispatch them along this rail and down that way. Okay, not back this way. And that means the system kind of works. So let's just wait for this to happen. And there he goes. He's been turned into a villager. We just got the zombie doctor advancement. Now, from here, these guys should, if I put down a fletching table, I'm going to put it uh, right here. He should get the job, and he just did. You can see that. You got the job right there of a fletcher. Now, I can go along and get some better deals here because I have cured him. And what I want to do is I want to see if I can get to a point where I can get a, the uh, weakness arrows because I'm going to run out of these potions pretty quick. Um, so let's see if it uh, looks like sticks. He needs a lot of sticks. And uh, where's my crafting table? It's over here. I guess I didn't need to go to the crafting table all together, but let's grab some sticks and we'll get some emeralds and we'll start some trading with this guy and maybe we'll see him have uh, the weakness arrow. We'll see there. Okay. I don't have enough sticks. You're very expensive on sticks. I finished trading with this guy all the way up to see all of his trades and he does not have... The weakness arrow he has a slowness arrow but not the weakness arrow so this guy is no good so we'll have to just get rid of him find some other way to dispose of him and then we'll uh do another villager i'm going to start that process right now but this is my job and i'll probably be doing a lot of this off camera it's just going around and you know uh, making more of these guys until i get the weakness arrow because i really want that uh for this system i have had a lot of trouble today guys it has been rough 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 seems like every time i wanted to do something something got in the way or broke or didn't work quite right while i was recording so yeah it was kind of a weird episode but that's okay so today for the shout out that we're going to do this one is another person who has been around with tinker 77 channel since i had 17 subscribers right when i started my channel he found me and has been here ever since the longest person ever to support tinker 77 and that is Thomas Grillo. Thomas is a very, very valued member of the Tinker community. Thomas Grillo, he loves torches. You know, everybody knows that. And he doesn't call them torches. He calls them SMDs. And it stands for Spawn Mitigation Devices to stop the spawns of monsters. So you should always have SMDs in your inventory. So thank you again, Thomas. Thank you for being here. I do appreciate you. Anyway, guys, hey. That's about it. <laughs> if you like this video, please click that like button. If you have any comments, put them down in the comment section. And if you would like to be notified of the videos that I produce, please subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to hit that little bell icon so you get all the notifications, okay? Thanks, guys. Have a great day. Bye-bye.